welcome you guys. I rented out this tiny house through an Airbnb uh, over in La Push Beach area and it is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to turn around the camera. So you can see the cabin there and it comes with this hot tub out here which I'm the clouds and the, it's kind of sprinkling a little bit but that doesn't really bother me too much you know if I was in it to get it started I'm hoping to get this started it's a wood burning hot tub so we'll have to take a look at that see if I can't get that started but let's go inside and I'll take you on a little tour of where I'm staying Tons and tons of windows, all the wood and black on it look really rustic. So come inside here and we have like storage drawers, bathroom. I love these kind of bowls that, um, that sit on top for the sink. Beautiful shower, lots of emerald greens. Ooh, look at this. They got ropes for you to use. There's also a dry sauna somewhere out here, so we'll have to see where that is at. They got an umbrella in here. You have a long sided table here. So you could easily, I guess, move the, you know, chairs out and face this way if you wanted to. Love all the lighting. You have windows up above. I can see myself reading a book right here in front of this these tall windows. Here's your kitchen. Gas range. Love that it's gas. Small little oven. And I've always wanted to try. I got really excited when I walked in. I have always wanted to try one of these drip coffee makers. So I'm excited to try that in the morning. Good size fridge. Looks like they have everything you need. I sure hope they have everything I need to like cook dinner tonight. Plates. Bowls. That's good. Let's see. Pans. Pots and pans, good. Yay, I can fix dinner. And then up here is gonna be where I sleep with the skylight. Probably won't see much, it's pretty kind of cloudy, but on a clear sky, I bet you like night, you can see stars and I bet you it's so beautiful. All right, I'm fixing to start dinner. And I came across this though. Look at this, they have all of these spices here. That's so awesome. Like, I mean, yeah, pots and pans, but that's the extra mile right there. We got teas. Oh, I'm gonna have some tea tonight before bed probably. All right, that just like, I had to show that because that is really top notch in service and uh, going the extra mile to like make sure there's spices and salt and pepper. Thumbs up there. Ooh, and another thing. I forgot to bring oil for, uh, I'm making these uh, veg, like veggie grilled sandwiches and I forgot to bring oil for the pan. They have oil here too. That is a good thing. Well, it's dinner time, but as I was cooking dinner, I was multitasking and going outside to check on the temp of the hot tub, making sure that the fire was burning at all times. And I'll show you how I did that now. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. All of the instructions on it is listed on the stovetop lid. And then you just start like a little fire in there and continue to get it to burn. I wanted to get it started now because it can take up to like over an hour really to get, to get it hot enough to use. So while it's heating up, I can get some dinner going. But they have really everything they really well thought out. So Tupperware lid, you know, garbage lid, you have the lighters and kindling, small wood, and then they have dryer wood over there underneath the cabin. I brought some of my own because even in 
underneath the cabin. I mean, stuff gets really wet. All right, it is starting to pour down rain. I've been at this stupid jacuzzi trying to get it to heat up forever and I don't care if it's pouring down rain. I'm getting into the hot tub and I don't think it's that warm, like hot though. So here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go brave it. And we're just gonna, I don't know, be cold maybe for a few minutes, but I tried, I really tried. And I feel bad that like, I spent all that time and effort trying to get this to tamp and not even be able to go inside it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna try. It's like warm on top, but it's pretty chilly at the bottom, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's pretty cold. Ooh. I like hear it sizzling. I wonder if it's like too full. Is it like putting out my fire, you think? I don't know. You know, if you try not to pay attention to like how cold the bottom is, I mean, the top is actually quite nice. I feel like it honestly it needs like almost like another like maybe even two more hours of just constant burning, but I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna like I'm gonna like I'm gonna soak here maybe just for a little bit and then get dressed. And I did go and turn on the dry sauna, so. We'll go do that afterwards. Okay. Well, that was very short lived. A bit of a bummer. Cause now it's like starting to really pour down. So I don't know. All right, well that didn't go as planned, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the dry sauna and hopefully we will have better luck with that one. All right, as you can tell, it's very dark in here. I don't know how my camera, like the GoPro is gonna hold up to the heat, but this feels amazing. It feels so good. I could not find where you feel like the water though like that you put on top of the rocks. I tried looking and then I tried to figure out the shower outside. That was a bit confusing too. Um, I mean, of course they have people here, um, like your host that can help you. I mean, if you really wanted it done and you could give them a call and it'd be fine. But um, I don't really want to trouble them for that. So I'm okay. Well, I can't think of a better way to end today than getting all cozied up and paying tribute to the movie Twilight. Now, I'm not a crazy fan for Twilight or anything like that. Uh, I do enjoy the storyline and it just makes sense because we're only 15 minutes away from town. Well, I'll catch you in the morning, all right? <laughs>
to the couch to get a more like squishier kind of <laughs> pliable pillow. And I'm used to a really, really dark room and there is a skylight, which is beautiful, especially on a clear night. Like it would be beautiful to see like stars and everything. But I think knowing what I know now, I would bring an eye mask since I like it really dark, maybe my own pillow. So it was a little, a little rough there. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed your stay with me here at the tiny house. I will for sure put the link down below so you can get the information if you're interested on staying here yourself in the Quinault area. I hope I said that right. Uh, and the beaches, like, I can't wait to go see them. We are actually going to go over and take a look at them. So I'm going to end this video here, though. So be sure to subscribe so you can join us throughout the Olympic Peninsula and see some more beautiful parks and landscapes. And remember, as always, you guys, that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary.